Scorpios, my Scorpions, how are y'all? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So I've got an email, I got an email from someone that was requesting that I bring back the case of the X spread, okay? So I did change the layout a little bit, but it still gives great insight, okay? So I was looking at you guys' as X's, in, you know, energy and seeing how they view, you know, how they view you. And let's hop into it. Guys, go ahead and click that like button smash that like button if you're new to my channel click that bell to subscribe because there's so much more to come right if you want to book your very own personal reading guys that information is going to be in the drop box below i am currently running a special um $44.44 it's going to get you a full detailed reading as well as a free bonus question okay if you have any questions on how to book that information is in the drop box below all right so let's get into it okay so past energy, guys, um, your ex feel deceived, okay? Um, we got deception here. And uh, there could have definitely been third-party energy. There could have definitely been cheating, okay? Um, we got the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords together. They popped out together. So someone was definitely being sneaky okay so someone like i said this energy can go vice versa but this is their energy and how they feel how they're viewing a the situation okay they feel like they got cheated on okay they feel like you deceived them and then we even have the death card um which is you guys' energy which is scorpio's energy okay so they felt deceived okay presently it looks like um, we got calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you closer. So maybe they have been praying, you know, maybe they've been, you know, trying to find a way to get things back right with you because I have the sun card here. Okay. Leo's energy. This is being prayers being answered, looking at the positive side of things. Okay. So they could feel, you know. They could feel a lot more positive. They could be looking at the brighter side of the situation. They're looking at their finances. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. Their finances may be looking good. And then we got you guys' energy here, King of Cups, okay? And then look up, look at this. We got reconciliation, okay? So it looks like they do want to reconcile with you, Scorpio. All right, it does look like they want to work this out. They want to work together, build together, be your partner, your ride or die. They do want that, okay? They do want a commitment, though. They want a full-fledged commitment, okay? Because they feel like they were done wrong by you. They feel like you wronged them, okay? That you deceived them. You snuck behind their back. You, you know, were just being sneaky. But someone here is very ego-driven, okay? Someone is very, very ego-driven. Like, they feel as if your ego is huge. Like, you have the big head. We got, <laughs> we got the Emperor reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed, okay? The Emperor reversed. First of all, him upright. He is, you know, very masculine, very powerful, very strong-minded, but he can be very ego-driven, okay? Somebody's focused. Somebody is, like, has this big ego, like, really, really big ego. I got a big ego, such a huge ego. He love my big ego. It's too much. I walk like this because I can back it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, that, that type of energy, okay? So they do, I feel like they do want to work things out with you, Scorpio. Like, they want to build with you. They want to work together with you. But they're looking at your ego like you're so, your ego is so big. And like I said, this could be vice versa, okay? But I just definitely, definitely feel like someone was a kind of being a little snake. Okay, being sly, got their own stuff going on on the side. Okay, your person, your ex, 
is still looking at things, looking at the bright side of things, okay? They may feel like you guys can make money together, you guys can do business together, because I got the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, so this is very, you know, material, not materialistic, but the goal is the bag, okay? They feel like you guys are, could, you know, be partners in crime on that note, okay? They feel like you guys can work together. But someone's ego is extremely big, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Any past, present, future energy for my Scorpios? How does Scorpios ex feel about Scorpio? Any past energy, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. We got the chaser. Somebody's heartbroken, and you better come and chase me. You better come chase me down. You better come chase me. Okay. Somebody was left heartbroken. Okay. They feel like they broke your heart. <laughs> and someone's chasing okay the chaser give me present energy how does scorpio how does scorpio's ex feel about scorpio Girl with the snake. It's a lot of snaky, a lot of <laughs> malicious energy here. Okay, we got empath. The narcissist says being charmed or used. Someone not having boundaries. Okay, we got twin flame. So this could be a twin flame connection. Okay, a lot of times, and I don't even really like to get into twin flames and soulmates because I don't be wanting to tell y'all that this person y'all twin flame, y'all soulmate, da, da da da. I don't really be wanting to get into all of that. But this person could be your yin to your yang. Okay, and without a chaser, you know, without someone, you know, running, that person can't chase. Like there's a chaser and there's a, you know, the one that's doing the running. And I feel like they want you to chase them. Okay. We got passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. Okay. Looking at your photographs. So they're going to be looking at your pictures, thinking about you, nostalgia, making new memories, and they are missing you. Okay. They miss the way you put it on them. They miss the way the things that you did to them, how you did it, why you did it, all of that. And they want you to chase them. They want you to chase them. They want you to drop your guard and stop being so tough and chase them. <laughs> it's up to y'all. I mean, I. I'm not going to tell y'all, y'all, you know, you know your person. I don't like them chase. I replace. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call this reading. I don't chase. I replace. Yeah. I like that. What action are they going to take towards my Scorpio? Two of Cups. See, yeah, they want to come back together. Because they feel like you guys have unfinished business. They feel like this shit is not over. It's not over, Okay. You can't just do that to me and think that. <laughs> they feel like you left them out. You just abandoned them. And wait a minute, we not done because we got business to handle. Okay? They want this. They want this connection back. They want this bond back. They want this relationship back. Yep, they want to start over. Ace of Wands. They want a new start. But I do feel like that they want a commitment, okay? A higher level of commitment from you. 
okay? Like, if this was to come back around, they want a higher level of commitment from you. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below because this was real juicy, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on. If y'all want to book your own personal reading with me, information is in the drop box. And don't forget to like and share with your family and friends. If you're new, click the bell to subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.